In this video, we'll just do a quick tour of the iBooks bookshelf. So to get to the bookshelf, I just touch the books icon, and there you can see my bookshelf. Uh, right now we're looking at all of the books that I've uh, downloaded, including the proofs um, from my own projects. So just a few things about this. Uh, you have some choices here in how you want to view it. Right now we're, we're looking at the thumbnails. Uh, you can touch here to view a list instead. Go back to the thumbnail view. Um, occasionally you'll see that you have a notification here where it says store. That means that one of my books has an update. Um, that might mean that the author has added new content and um, at that point you can choose whether you'd like to update the book or not. So if I touch here where it says collections, um, I can see that I'm, I'm looking at all of my books. I can also uh, switch to only the books uh, that I've purchased and I can see only those books. I can also see all the PDFs that I've downloaded onto my iPad and I find this to be a really great way to keep all of my uh, PDFs in one spot. What I can also do is add a new bookshelf, which is what I'll do now. To do that, just touch New and I'll call this um, Proofs. Okay, so if I go back to uh, view all of my books. I'm going to move all of my proofs to my new bookshelf. So I'll touch edit and then I'll just select each proof that I'd like to move. There's another. So I have a choice here in the top left I can either move or delete those. If you want to do a batch delete this is how you would do it. Um, but for now I just want to move them and I'll choose my proofs bookshelf. Okay, so now I have uh, a place where I can view all of my proofs all on one bookshelf. So that's my brief tour of the iBooks bookshelf. Thanks for watching.